one commonality that we had going for us is that we both like to use a lot of natural materials. That was one thing that I think really tied both of our very different themes that we wanted together. Hi, my name is Jie Lun. My name is Jen and we are both in the architecture industry. We've been living here for about five months. It's a five-room HDB, about 145 square meters, located across Jurong Lake. When we first visit the house, I think we really like the location and a very peaceful neighborhood around it. It's a corner unit, so you really have like a lot of privacy. And when you come in, you kind of come into like the main communal space, so it feels very large. For the entrance foyer, we try to keep it as flexible as possible so that just in case we need to host more people, we can have like extra tables and seats over there. We do have a mm. pretty deep storage there because of the existing structure. We really try to maximize available space for storage. We host a lot, we like having friends and family over and we wanted a large space and a series of large communal zones that visual connectivity to each other. So that's why we broke down and took away the balcony and the study area to create a more expansive space as you first come in. For the living and dining area, we tried to disguise it or make it look more intentional by introducing some sort of carpentry okay. and a feature yeah. wall so that it doesn't look so awkward because we really wanted to keep the circulation along both sides of the living and dining areas. Zialun had the idea to, why not we do something on the ceiling instead? And also we had the opportunity to explore the timber ceiling at the living and dining, but at the same time we didn't want to extend all the way to the entire communal space. For us, the island is like the heart of the home. Of course, it's an extension of our kitchen because our kitchen is not huge. So we do a lot of our cooking prep work there as well. When we chose the material palette of the kitchen, we didn't want to keep on using timber because we already had quite a lot of it in the communal areas. So we wanted to use something that was very durable and could withstand the abuse that goes on in the kitchen. We used this very subtle, like greyish beige laminate that I think turned out to go quite well with the rest of the house. And it adds a nice contrast to everything else as well. So along the corridor leading into the master bedroom, we do have these two timber sliding doors flanking either side of the corridor. One leading to the sleeping area and the other leading into the wardrobe. It actually doubles as a cover for this open shelf that we have that we throw our everyday stuff to, like our accessories or clothes that we might want to wear again. Very easily accessible, you know, you can just grab things in and out as you're heading out of the house. The master bedroom comprises of the original master bedroom and a common bedroom, which we combine together. There are two bathrooms in this unit, the common bathroom and the master bath. So that was a good place for us to really design individually because both of us have very different personalities. And I think we were influenced very differently when we were both studying architecture. So that's really reflected in the ways that we approach each bathroom design. It doesn't look like much from the outside. It's quite a big contrast when you come in. Basically, space is very important to us. That's a very key consideration to us when we purchase this flat. We were quite happy with the end product because we like it that people can come over and they still feel that it's very homely, it's very welcoming. It somehow ties all the various aspects mm. of the house together. Thanks for staying till the end. Now, if you like what you've just seen, do subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you get updates whenever a new video pops out. And if you'd like to have your home featured, feel free to drop us an email at hello at stackthomes.com.